Little Rocket Man, Old Lunatic, just a couple of the insults that the North Korean dictator and the U.S. president have traded over the past year during their nuclear standoff. But now the stage is set for a face-to-face -face meeting between Kim Jong-un and Donald Trump, although the White House says that North Korea has to do a couple things before that meeting will happen. They've made promises to denuclearize. They've made promises to to stop nuclear and missile testing. And we're not going to have this meeting take place until we see concrete actions that match the words and the rhetoric of North Korea. He's expressed it openly uh, before about his willingness to meet with uh, Kim Jong-un. So now I think it's a question of uh, agreeing on the timing of that first meeting between the two of them and a location. And that will take some weeks uh, before uh, we get all that worked out. The groundwork for that groundbreaking summit took place here in Pyongyang earlier this week when Kim Jong-un hosted a high-level delegation from the South. Now, President Moon hopes that this meeting will pave the way towards denuclearization, but will that actually happen? Tina Park is a Canadian leading expert on Korean relations. She does say the climate is ripe for change, but that it's going to take time. There is a certain uh, pressure on North Korea, both economically and politically, because of sanctions and also because of uh, growing ideological uh, discontent within the regime. Uh, they're seeing that, you know, with the infiltration of uh, smartphones and technology, North Korean uh, people are starting to be more aware of the outside world, which is why we're seeing growing number of defectors. And the North Korean economy is still not doing very well. Uh, and the North Korea's um, nuclear weapons program is very expensive. In uh, Korean culture, we say don't drink the kimchi soup too early. And I think uh, it goes on to say that we shouldn't expect too much uh, for the first meeting and uh, remain patient because this is only the beginning of what will be a very long and complex process. It's not clear where these two will meet, but the U.S. says that all sanctions against North Korea will remain in place until a formal deal is reached between the two countries.